everyone and today I'm here to do a book review of The Living Room by Robert Willow. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and I'll link my Goodreads account below if you want to see my review on this book. Because I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, I thought it was beautiful, it was fantastic. A writer named Amy and she writes at night and by day she's a legal secretary. And it's about her balancing between her being one to be a full-time writer, but also having to have the money to provide her family because she isn't necessarily making enough money writing to just do that full-time. And there's also a couple minor um, plots in this story as well. Like I said, that caught my eye was her being a writer, and I'm a writer, I'm working on, I wrote a book in college, and I'm working on editing that book, and about an novelist, I'm really intrigued by it. And the really cool thing is this book is a Christian book. Now, I didn't know that when I picked this up. And as you guys may know, I read um, any genre of book. I read books considered secular, but I read a lot of Christian books as well. Um, so that was really neat. That's something I didn't expect, and I like that because the, the synopsis doesn't talk about that at all. If you're not a Christian, you can definitely read this book. Um, just the, the plot just really was amazing. And it's a contemporary book. I'm really, I love reading contemporary um, fiction, whether it's contemporary YA, or mainly, I mainly read contemporary adult fiction or women's fiction, and this was just so awesome, like he wrote about the day-to-day -day things that Amy go through and the kids go through, but he made it really interesting. Like when he picks it up, the only thing I didn't like was sometimes Amy was a little bit of a nag with her kids. She's a mom, she's a very protective mom, and sometimes I mean, that was a little annoying. Like, something I feel like she's a little overprotective, but I'm writing comes from dreams. And so she'll have a dream about something and inspire her to write her next book, which I think is really neat. I love dreaming, I love interpreting my dreams, stuff like that, so that connects with me as well. I recommend you pick up The Living Room by Robert Whitlow, and I'm gonna definitely be picking up more of his books soon. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.